Hello everyone. Today we will study serial selectivity. Before study to start the serial selectivity, we will discuss what we have studied in the last lecture. In the last lecture, we studied eight wheel elimination. We also discuss about the Sarsgaard rule as well as the Hoffman and Pollock. So. as we have learned how the e2 elimination is happen and during to the e2 elimination happening there is alkene formation and there is a possibility of formation of the less substituted product and more substituted product during the e2 elimination so sergio rule says more substituted product will form and hoffman says less substituted less substituted product will form and there is also another probability when there there is possibility of a cis and trans isomer during the e2 elimination there can be two product so which one will which one will be our major product so that we will discuss here about the serial selectivity of the product which product is our will be the major product and which will be the minor product when then there is a possibility of cis and trans isomer in our in the our product so <clears throat> so uh, alkene with the bulkiest on the opposite sides are the most stable okay so uh, hence e2 eliminations during e2 eliminations trans alkenes are formed predominantly so both are formed by e2 elimination only and stability of the final product is dominating factor so what we have learned here our when the bulkiest group will be the opposite side that will be the major product and this will happen during the e2 elimination and stability which product is more stable that will be the our dominating factor deciding factor which one will be the our major product or which will be the which one will be our the minor product so let's try to understand this one with this example so when we will start this halogene will react with this base in presence of solvent we will get two product this one product and this num this number two product so according to our our statement the bulkier group this one is the one group this uh, this is the one group this is the two group when the this okay and uh, this side is the one group when these two bulkier group one this and this group are the when the this bulkier group and this uh, this is here methyl here methyl here is tertiary methyl here is hydrogen this one so here this one and this one this is the le uh, less bulkier group than this methyl so this uh, hydrogen and this tertiary methyl are on the same side so this is a major product this is a more stable in the seven this is a methyl this is a tertiary methyl are on the same side two bulkier group are on the same side so this is the our minor product okay so uh, now we have to uh, give here the numbering means we have to assign which one our so now we came to know our statement which one is our the uh, major product or which one uh, which one will be our minor product okay so now we have to give the <clears throat> we have to give the e and z nomenclature we have to give here e and z nomenclature okay or we have to give trans or cis we can say z isomer or cis isomer E isomer 
or trans isomer are similar we we uh, we can only say we can say this one is the e isomer or we can say also trans isomer similar with z isomer or cis isomer are same so we have to assign cis cis or trans nomenclature of these two product this for one product number one product number two which one is our cis and which one are trans so that we have to assign basis on the numbering uh, first we have to assign the numbering of uh, priority on the atoms on the both sides of double bond so this is a carbon this has the higher atomic number so this will get the priority number one this is the hydrogen has less atomic number than carbon so this is the priority number two in the similar way this carbon has the priority uh, has the same atomic number like this carbon but this carbon is attached to second carbon and this carbon is attached to hydrogen so when the first uh, atom will will match the atomic number of first atom then same then we will move to further this is the hydrogen and this is here is the carbon this carbon has the atomic number is 12 has the highest higher atomic number than this hydrogen so we will give this priority number 1 and this will get the, uh, this carbon will get the priority number 2 okay so now we will see when the this priority number 1 this is the 2 and here is the priority number 1 and here priority number 2 when the higher priority number are on opposite side okay when the higher priority numbers are on opposite side this priority number 1 and this priority number 1 are in opposite sides this carbon and this tetrahedral are on opposite side so this is called the we can when the higher atomic number higher priority numbers carbon are opposite sides then we call it e isomer or we can also say trans isomer on the other hand same we will give the priority this will this is a carbon has atomic number 12 and this carbon has atomic number 12 this hydrogen has one so this will get the one priority number this will get the two priority number on the similar way this will get the one and two now the higher priority number atoms are on the same side so this is a cis conformation cis isomer or we can say z isomer so during e2 eliminations the our major product which one will be the e isomer or trans isomer will be the major product minor product will be the z isomer and cis isomer so this is our answer major product is e isomer and minor product is z isomer so now we will try to understand why the e isomer our major product and z isomer our minor product this we will understand with the help of this mechanism so this structure can be written in this form also this is the newman projection formula this is what this is newman projection formula newman projection conformer we can also write in this sars conformer also so in the new main pro, uh, projection this bromo this carbon and this tertiary butyl are in opposite directions so this is a more stable conformer and more stable conformer leads to more stable product this our e isomer and this is a more stable 
so what is the reason of most stability of the isomer it is formed from the most stable conformer so this is most stable so we can also write this can also exist in the uh, this uh, this conformer also and this product will form from this conformer only this conformer or this conformer and this conformer or this conformer are the less stable because this methyl and this tertiary butyl are in the at the 60 degree of angle this is the less stable here this methyl and this is in a opposite direction so this is a more stable conformer this is a less stable conformer this is the less stable so less stable conformer leads to less stable product less stable product so now we understand so when the e2 elimination will happen in the presence of base or ethanol there will be two product uh, one will be the e isomer and second will be the z isomer e isomer will be the most stable product and Z isomer will be the less stable product. Thank you.